So there's a new proposal um, from Senator Ed Markey that I think is worth talking about. I haven't seen uh, like the full details or a, you know a written explanation of the proposal yet, but um, he did put out a video talking about this, um, and we'll watch that video and then go over some of the details. Uh, it's it's a policy pertaining to essentially ensuring that everybody has access to high speed internet. Um, you know, obviously, in today's society, the Internet is a very necessary tool for almost everybody. Um, you know, it's it's not a, he, the line he uses in this video that I like is it, the Internet is not a luxury um, in today's society. You need it. So um, it is it really ought to be considered sort of a public utility in my in my opinion. Um, but Ed Markey working to take steps to ensure that everybody has access to it. I'll show you that video and then we'll continue discussing. A return to in-person instruction is the ultimate goal. But educators and students, safety isn't an acceptable cost. We need to be smart about how we return to school. We need to base this decision not on a date, but on the data. Even once school is back in session, students will rely on the internet for homework, socialization, and exploration. Except many students don't have access to the high-speed internet that they are going to need. Up to 16 million children in the United States struggle to complete school assignments because they lack home internet access. Let's be clear, the internet is not a luxury. It is an essential service students need for their academic development, social well-being, and future success. That's what, what my E-rate is all about. It's all about guaranteeing that every child, every child gets what they need, that every family gets what they need. Up to 16 million kids struggle to complete their assignments because they lack uh, high-speed internet, internet access. That is unbelievable. 16 million million kids, okay? And that is going to be exacerbated here as we go get into a school year where uh, there's going to be a really heavy emphasis on online schooling because of the virus. So um, internet is not a luxury, and it's especially not a luxury for the kids who we demand take school seriously and do well in school. You know, if we as a society, if this is going to be a demand that our society has that you get good grades in order to have you know, the chance to get a decent job or at least have a significantly better chance, you know, then we need to provide the kids with the tools that they need to do well in school, right? Um, and the internet is obviously one of those, especially in a time where a lot of those classes are going to be done from home. So, um, you know, really in today's society as a whole, people are getting their information from the internet. They're getting their news from the internet. They're keeping up on their hobbies with the internet. The internet is a very necessary tool for everybody living in today's society. Everybody should have access to high-speed internet, okay? And this is something we're very behind on. It's because Comcast has a great deal of leverage when it comes to um, cable and internet. They have very powerful lobbyists in Washington, um, and they have maintained an essential monopoly without um, any politicians or, or you know, prosecutors deciding to bring an antitrust suit against them because they obviously are monopolizing markets, right? Um, anyhow, that, that contributes to a very, um, difficult environment in which to ensure, uh, internet privacy rights, net neutrality rights, and, um, you know, ensuring everybody has access to the internet. Ed Markey has spent his whole career on the right side of these issues. Just last year, he introduced a, a, a bill to support internet privacy rights, and he also has always been a strong proponent of net neutrality, um, you know, we absolutely need these issues to go our way. This is absolutely critical for, like, democracy um, going forward, right? The the um, filter through which your information is coming and who dictates that filter is a very important aspect of uh, how well-informed and educated your society is. And when you're relying on that society to vote in the right leaders, you need that society to be well-educated and well-informed. Um, so internet critical for all of that stuff, right? Educating the kids and, and keeping us informed on news on, on the ongoings in our society, right? Um, so uh, yet another reason to support Ed Markey, um, you know, on the right side of all these critical issues, co-sponsor the Green New Deal, on the right side of internet privacy, on the right side of healthcare, you know, just, um, 
on the right side of all of this stuff. Federal job guarantee, part of the Green New Deal, desperately needed right now going into an economic crash because of coronavirus. Desperately needed before that, but you know, even more so now. Um, you know, so this is yet another issue that is absolutely critical to the well-being of our country. Ed Markey pushing a policy um, that is, you know, contributing towards a healthier society. Um, we want to keep that man in the Senate.